the gardens and schools, we call them gardens of hope, they're called edible schoolyards in the US, um, are a very important bridging to the future, but also bridging across society. Because we are at the moment in India's evolution where even though most of our people are farming, in the minds of decision makers, they've already written off the farmers. And that's why there is no concern about 300,000 farmer suicides. Because the design is farmers should go. And if those who you were going to push out by design commit suicide, they're just making your work of the dispensability of farmers a little easier. A child growing a garden in a school realizes that the farmer is doing the same thing on their farm. When I've asked children, what is it that that experience taught you? And they said, there's so much abundance that we can plant one seed and it looks inert, but then it'll give you a tomato plant and that will give you millions of seeds and thousands of tomatoes to eat. Just that lesson. Now, if that was the lesson of multiplication, rather than then the dead multiplication in numbers, if that was the lesson of biology, if that was the lesson of every field of science. Yeah, you can teach capillary reaction through water movement in the soil. Every discipline that the children need to know can become alive through their interaction with the earth. It's so vital that children be engaged directly, experientially, uh, with activities related to healing the earth. And that's important for two reasons. First, it's only through, for example, creating a garden that they realize the full potential of the earth. Otherwise, it's all theoretical knowledge, which doesn't translate into sustainability. In fact, it can actually facilitate the exploitation of the earth uh, because it doesn't create the sense and feeling and responsibility of what taking care of the earth is about. And that's why we've started Gardens of Hope. But I think there's a second very important reason. That children are understanding that we have created a huge mess with the world. And they are feeling that mess within them. So it's not just about healing the earth, it's about healing themselves and creating hope. Um, hope for a future which is in their hands to shape.